Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to write our first Jasmine test specification. Our goal here is to start with a very simple example, introduce the concepts one by one and progressively increase the complexity of our tests until we reach real-world use cases. Right now we want to start by testing only one simple service, the calculator service. So first let's mark here this test as pending and let's focus now on the implementation of the it should add to numbers specification. So in order to test the add method of our calculator service, the first thing that we're going to need is an instance of this service. Let's then go ahead and create it. We're going to define here a constant that we're going to call calculator and we're going to instantiate here the calculator service. Now the calculator service is going to take a single dependency, which is the logger service. The logger service itself, on the other hand, does not have any dependencies. So we can instantiate it in a very simple way by calling its constructor. So now we have here an instance of our calculator service. Let's go ahead and use it in order to add two numbers. We are going to store here the result and now we simply need to ensure that this result is the expected result. So that is the goal of our test, to make sure that the add method is working properly. So in order to ensure that the result is correct, we are going to write our first test assertion. We are going to be using here the expect utility from Jasmine and we are going to say that we expect the result to be 4. So we have here multiple methods available in order to assert test results. Let's have a look at them. We have uh, methods like to be close to, to be defined, to be falsy, greater than, etc. So we have here a lot of possibilities for writing all types of assertions. In our case, we want to use the method to be and we are going to specify here the value for. So this is our test assertion. This is going to make sure that the test fails if the result is not 4. And with this, we have written our first specification and all the other specifications that we are going to write in this course follow this similar structure. So first we have sort of a setup phase where we are preparing the components or services that we want to test. Then we have sort of an execution phase where we are going to trigger the operation that we want to test. And at last, at the end of the test, we are going to write a series of test assertions that are either going to fail, marking the test as failed, or they are going to be successful, which means that the test is going to be marked as successful. Let's now quickly run our first test. We're going to head over to the command line and we're going to run ng-test. After a while, we're going to see the following message on the console executed one of two tests and we are going to have here the green indication of success. If we switch now to our browser view, we are going to see that our should add two numbers is now marked as green, so the test is passing as expected. As we can see the should subtract two numbers test is still pending, so let's quickly implement it. We are going to base ourselves on the implementation of the first test, you are going to copy paste this implementation here and we are going to adapt it. So we are going to call the subtract method instead of the add method and we are going to expect here the result to be 0. Let's hit command S, this is going to trigger again the execution of the tests. After a moment we should have the following report in our console, two of two tests executed, both successfully. And here our browser report is updated accordingly. Now let's quickly simulate what would happen if somebody introduced the bug in one of these two methods. So switching back here to our calculator service tests, let's say that for example here in our calculator service, a commit was made that accidentally would break here the subtract method. Let's say that accidentally we were multiplying here the two numbers instead of subtracting them. Let's see what would happen here in the console when we run this new version of our calculator service. So as we can see we have one of the two tests that has failed and switching back here to the browser view we can see that the test that failed was the should subtract two numbers spec and we can see here the error message. We can see that we have a value of 0 that was expected to be 4. We also have here a stack trace. 
So it's great that we have here the identification of the spec that has failed, but we can improve a bit here the error message. So switching back here to our tests, we can add here to our expect call where we are making our test assertion, a second argument here after this value, adding a bit more information about why the assertion has failed. We can add, for example, the text unexpected subtraction result. Let's now run this test again. Let's switch back here to the browser. And as we can see, after a moment, we get a new error message. This extra argument that we can use to provide more information about the failure of the test is available in all the Jasmine assertion utility methods. Now let's say that we would like to take these tests one step further. Let's say that, for example, we would like to assert that not only the result of the calculation is correct, but also we want to make sure that the logger service is only called once whenever we call these operations. Let's imagine that the logger service consumes expensive resources that should not be overused, so we want to make sure that it only gets called once per operation. In order to test for that in our tests, we are going to be introducing the concept of a Jasmine spy. Before doing that, let's quickly switch here to the calculator service and fix here the implementation of the subtract method. And from this very simple initial example, we are ready to introduce more complex concepts. We are next going to introduce Jasmine spies, we are going to talk about how to use dependency injection in our tests, and we are going to see how can we test Angular services that rely on, for example, the Angular HTTP service. This is coming right up in the next few lessons.